Alabama men's basketball has landed Grant Nelson from North Dakota State. He he will be a fourth year player next year as a senior, but he has one more year of eligibility due to COVID. He's six foot eleven, two hundred thirty five pounds, but I I will go over all of the following stats he had this past year. 17.9 points per game, 9.3 rebounds per game, 2.1 assists per game, 1.7 blocks per game, 0.8 steals per game, 2.7 fouls per game, 2.6 turnovers per game, 72% from the free throw line on 57 attempts, 26.9% from the three point line on 93 attempts. That could improve, I would say, as well as the fouling, 52.1% from the floor on 382 attempts. So, and And I will go over like what the freshman class consisted of, and and obviously they lost Brandon Miller to the NBA draft. Obviously, but Mark Sears does return as a senior. That helps. But for the class of twenty twenty three, they got Sam Walters, a four star according to four seven at power forward. Mohamed Diabate at four, at six foot seven, two hundred fifteen pounds. Chris Parker at small four, at six foot six, two hundred seventy pounds. But they obviously added like two other guys, like Latrell Wrightsell Jr. and Aaron Estrada, as well. Beside prior to this, and obviously they lost some guys to the transfer portal, like Jim Bradley, Jaden Quinterly, which he didn't do much. Adam Cottrell, he didn't do much in terms of production. Nick Murray Burnett, so really, and Jane Bradley, yeah, was like less than 6.5 points per game last year. Obviously, like I said, they lost Brian Miller to the draft. That's obvious. But Mark Sears did declare for the draft, but he's coming back. So that's And Noah Clowney. Does. Does lose. Uh, is going after one. Uh, he's done too. And they did lose. Like Charles. Bet, 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 B-E-D-I-A-K-O. Bedico. Or something like that. I apologize if I butchered that name. So. That definitely helps to have those guys come back, you know, and in terms of like scholarships, I'm gonna go look real fast. And based on like the guys I said that were gone. And remember they did lose uh, obviously there's some Fifth year guys on that roster. So they can't obviously come back unless they redshirted one year due to injury and all that. But you get what I'm saying. And they were one seed this past year, as we all know, and they lost in the Elite Eight. Actually, in the Sweet 16, actually, not Elite Eight. And they did finish the season at 31 and 6 winning the ICC regular season and the SEC tournament as well so that's just saying what they did this past year obviously like I said Brandon Miller is gone Noah Clowney is gone Javon Quinterly I gotta have, I gotta look and see. He technically has one more year left, but I am not sure if he's for sure gone or or not. But I'm gonna double check that real fast because he's a fourth year guy. Remember.
Yeah, but he's coming back apparently as of like May 31st. So yeah, he's coming back. That helps. And he was the co six man, man of the year last year. So in the SEC. Thus, he's going to probably be a starter next year. So, like I said, Jaren Bradley is gone. He's 6.4 points per game. Badico was 6.4 points per game. Mark Sears was 12.5, but he's coming back. But Brandon Miller is the obvious loss. And Clowney and Badico, yeah. Now, Ryan Griffin was a freshman last year. And he was like 5.9 points per game. Burnett was like 5.6 and he transferred out to Michigan. And Gurley was a fifth year last year. So, yeah, they do lose him as well. So, two guys to the, I mean, three guys to the draft plus one fifth year guy. I mean, And it's not including Dominic Welch, which he hardly played. And he was a fifth-year guy anyway. So, yeah, that's two fifth years gone. And they did lose, like I said, Contrell. But he was like a fourth-year player and he wanted to go somewhere else. So, in total, they have lost. Okay, three to the draft. And one, two, three, four guys out of the portal. So they lost seven guys in total. For sure. And eight guys, actually, if you include like a fit, two fit, I mean, two fit year guys, that's nine guys to an overall. Yeah. And they needed to fill those spots. I mean, they only had last year two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen guys. Yeah, they were over the limit, but I think some of them were like walk on types. Because remember, in men's basketball, there's only thirteen scholarships. So. They were down to eight guys, but then you added three transfers just now. I mean, three transfers out of those three. And then... And another... Yeah, I don't think they have any more scholarship room. I don't think they do. But I could be wrong on this so they were down to eight guys in total including the like, walk-ons of course and then add six I think they're pretty much set in terms of the scholarship limit so this is just an overlook on their roster for next year and there might be more attrition as well because remember those right now in the transfer portal you could technically get out I mean if you graduated already you could transfer out right now technically you could so anyways if you like this content like and subscribe and see you guys later find scars around the road to it let's go